Media. Welcome back to another episode of Grounds for Divorce. And as usual, joined by my lovely co-host and wife, Paula. Hello. How's everybody doing today? Oh, you guys pretty doing good. Well? You're doing well? Yep. Yeah. Been doing a lot of experimentation today. It's yeah, this is gonna be a day. really strange segment that I really don't know what to expect. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually. I have my my doubts. I, I, I've been all I've been smelling is uh, different things roasting on the uh, stove top, and uh, I, I sit down and we don't have our usual where we're going to try different coffee brands today. Mm -hmm. um, now, obviously, what are we using for a base coffee? What did you? Uh, this is Republica's. Um, I've got Peru in those two, okay. and the perfect storm for the pour overs. Pour overs. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's a coffee that we've had before and that yes. we have reviewed, mm -hmm. uh, except goodness only knows what you've got in store for me because I see spices here and all kinds of stuff and there's. Yeah, I'm gonna try to distract you from that. And, and can this you... doesn't look at all like my lattes that I'm used to. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> I'm nervous. Uh, I'm very okay. nervous. Well, let's do the t-shirt. Helix. Helix. Good old Canadian band. Yeah. Woo yeah. So, tell me about Helix. Uh, you're just a bunch of good boys uh, from Canada that uh, just really know how to rock. Been around for a long time. Uh, I can remember a real quick funny story. Probably one of the funniest things I've ever had happen to me at a concert. Brian Vollmer, the lead singer from Helix, always had this thing where he would do these crazy antics where you'd roll and stage dive off in, in, into the crowd. And the, the concert that I saw them at was at a, a small casino uh, in, in Langley. And and it was quite surprising because there was only like, there was under 100 people there. It what was year in, was this? 2007. Oh my. And it was the fill your head with rock tour. Hang on a second. Hang on. Uh oh. There, you go. there it is there. 2007. Fill your head with rock. And uh, anyways, Brian Vollmer doing his usual thing. And we were in this, it was almost like a nightclub setting, or not a nightclub, but like, um, you know how you'd, you'd see like there'd be like the tables and whatever, and everybody'd be sitting oh, around yes. tables like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're rocking out, they're doing their thing. And, and Brian does this rolling stage dive, jumps off into the crowd, jumps up onto the table right beside me here. And I'm like, oh, right on, this is so cool. <laughs> and he's singing his song, right? Mm -hmm. And the whole time he's rocking out and he's got this corded microphone and the microphone cable's going <laughs> on the side of my head through the whole thing. And I'm just like, <laughs> great. <Wow. laughs> it was pretty funny. Awesome. <laughs> it, was, it was an experience. I got uh, slapped around by Brian Bulmer's mic cord. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's let's go into speaking of uh, strange things. Let's let's do this here. So what are we gonna All go? All right, first? so we're trying to do a little bit more of a healthy twist. So these pour overs, you know, maybe to cut back on the sugar in your soy lattes. Those are the only ones that have sugar in them. Um, we're gonna try. You lost being healthy. Lower calories. Oh, coffee. We're going to just put some of this What's through this? the sift sifter here. What is it? Smell. Cinnamon. Yeah. Give it a stir. Ooh. <laughs> this is, like, a good this is like the cinnamon challenge, you know, where you see these <laughs> lunatics on YouTube who take off. It's just floating like balls of cinnamon on the top of my coffee. There's a, there's a thing, look up the cinnamon challenge on YouTube and you'll see these lug nuts that are, they take a tablespoon of cinnamon and they have to swallow it. It's impossible, you cannot do it. And it's it usually doesn't have good effects, but how am I supposed to drink this? It's not even mixing in. Well, I was kind of curious because when you go to cafes and they have the little shakers, <laughs> I'm curious. They have Great. the shakers. I was wondering what do they do with it? And they obviously okay. shake it into their coffees. There, that's better. Just drink it already. Oh my lord! What are you doing to me? Okay. I feel like I'm having cough syrup or something weird that I've been Yeah, don't say that yet. <laughs> oh no. Just keep drinking. Just oh no. I don't know what's in store now. Let me just try it already. Nice. 
<laughs> Let me try that again. It's okay. I don't yeah. like the floating powder. I'm sorry. The floating powder kind of... <laughs> I feel like I'm going to cough. Positive. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Uh-oh. Should I get you some water? Fortunately, I'm prepared. <clears throat> I tried. To kill me. Well, I guess that is <clears throat> grounds for divorce is all about. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> it floats on the top and it just, it doesn't mix in. It doesn't dissolve. It's just like a powder floating on the surface of my coffee. The cinnamon's nice with the coffee. I'm not coffee. <clears throat> yeah, because I had to do all the mixing and taking all the stuff at the start of it. <clears throat> okay, on to the next. Hang on, I'll try one more taste. Yeah, move on to the next. Oh dear. Next. All right. That's not a winner. Sorry. No sorries. Look, I'm it. just going to do a tiny bit of this. <clears throat> well, no, you might as well do what you got to do. I would say that's probably good enough. Okay. Uh, now, is this cocoa? Yes. Well, see, that mixes in real nice. Yeah, cinnamon doesn't mix in well, guys. It's pretty coarse. Right? Like... Uh, I wish you could see it. it I'm trying to bring it closer to the thing here. But it's really coarse. It, uh, Shall we? Go ahead. I just ruined a good cup of coffee. Oh well. Good thing we've got lots. <laughs> you know what's funny? No. It, it just tastes like a really dark roast coffee to me. <laughs> No. <laughs> like it just tastes like it's even a darker roast where you get that uh, the 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 cocoa flavor coming out in the, in the beans. Yes. So if you want to get a medium roast and make it into a dark roast, <laughs> add some cocoa into it. Oh my God. I could handle that. The other one, not so much. <clears throat> yeah. Makes it it's like just a darker a darker roast, right? Yeah. Interesting. And there's obviously it's a finer grind, so it does seem to dissolve, or at least gets mixed in easier than the uh, good old cinnamon. Maybe that's right. more designed for killing people. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, All right. what, what's the next? What's okay. the next witch's brew we got going? This is definitely a witch's brew. Oh no. I was trying that to brought be tears. creative. <clears throat> that actually brought tears to my eyes, that cough, and it was like, holy cow. <clears throat> I'm still clearing it. So what okay. have we got here? Oh, it's got like a skin on the top of it. Okay. I don't want to say. It, I made my own oh, no. homemade oat milk, and I added... You know I don't like oat milk. Yeah, but I would I'm experimenting. <laughs> Oh, oh no. It's an apple flavored oat milk. And I did add a little cinnamon to it. <laughs> so first of all, we would like to publicly apologize to the Republic of Coffee Roasters for absolutely destroying your coffee. Look at it. It's, it's nice thick as it looks like soup or gravy. Well, maybe it's like a breakfast type it's a, it looks, coffee. It looks like gravy. Go ahead, try away. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Where did you get these recipes? I made this one up. <laughs> well, because there's, I thought there's you said, a I thought coffee you said you were, chain. You were looking it up in books and stuff. No, well, that one I did. The one that almost killed me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this one here that's going to kill me. I'm hoping that's going to be the winner. Well, so far, that one's the winner so far, because it's just like me drinking a dark roast. What? Yeah, this is a bit weird. Oh, man, I don't even know, but it coats the spoon. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is coffee. What are you doing? I'm feeling beat up. 
Yeah, I have to break this. <laughs> oh, God, that is horrible. <laughs> oh, <dear God. laughs> oh <laughs> that is horrible. <laughs> mm. Hang on, I need, some, I need some water. I got inspired by a coffee drink. But it did not turn out. You know, that's how you lose weight. You're talking about losing weight. And, or that's how you, because that just takes your appetite away. <laughs> okay, so this one. Hang on a second. <laughs> the cinnamon's coming back for round two. Oh, okay. No, so no. this recipe I got out of a book called The Healing Power of Coffee. Do you want me to tell you what's in it before you try it? I Probably not. Okay, <laughs> just try it then. I hope you like it. It's more like a smoothie. It's a coffee smoothie. Coffees aren't supposed to be smoothies. Why not? Why would they? Why would not? Why oh, would they? There's ice cream. You can get ice cream coffee. You, you can have get to feel the consistency yogurt of coffee. It, it feels thick. Yes, because it's a smoothie. Just try it. Oh my! I just wanted a latte. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it's a smoothie. Okay. I was expecting it to be warm and all of a sudden it was ice cold. It's not bad. Hmm. I can actually I can actually try this. Bananas and apple in there? No apple. Really? Because there tastes like apple in there. Nope. Really? Yes. No apple. Oh, no, it tastes like uh, green apples in there. I put no apples in there. Can you there's... taste it? See, you see what I'm talking about. It tastes like green apples. There's yogurt. And just a hint of coffee. <laughs> yogurt, bananas. Oh yeah, we're doing a coffee segment. Let's put a hint of coffee in there. <laughs> Welcome to welcome to bananas are your friends today, folks. <laughs> oh my! You like smoothies? I do. And I do. You put bananas in your smoothie. I do. <clears throat> I, I I wasn't really expecting that in a coffee, or I wasn't expecting coffee in a smoothie. How's that? I would that? have this, wouldn't you? Like if you, like it's almost like a meal. A smoothie is a meal. Listen, at the end of the day, um, I would say, because that's a cold drink, you can't compare it to like a, a coffee coffee. So whoever's saying that it's a coffee drink, I would call them out on that. Um, it's got a hint of coffee flavor to it. I don't really even taste much coffee. I taste more green apples and banana in there. And, and I can get the yogurt hint to it as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's a bit of a stretch calling it a coffee myself. Um, <clears throat> the the concoction you made this 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 thing here <laughs> this this bowl of gravy <laughs> I, I think we'll pass on that yeah i agree um this one here again uh with the um cocoa to me is the closest out of any of the four that i would say i could drink would i drink it I, no, I would just make a dark roast coffee, but that all, <clears throat> excuse me, adding that cocoa in does is it definitely makes it taste like a dark roast. Okay. And uh, this one here is poison. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. Another fun episode of Grounds for Dumbledore. <laughs> yeah, so don't waste your time with putting cinnamon in your coffee, no. unless you already do, like some do. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I mean, maybe there's different grinds of cinnamon. Maybe there's even a finer grind of cinnamon. Maybe. This grind here is way too coarse because you can even see that it's sitting around the, the edge of the glass, right? So it was very, very coarse and hard to stir in. Um, thanks for trying.
You wanted something different today. I gave you different. You did. You did. All right. Well, listen, thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in, folks. Uh, next week, we will have our regular planned broadcast of <laughs> Coffee Bean <laughs> Reviews. Um, and uh, also, don't forget, check out our store, groundsfordivorcecoffee.ca. Lots of great stuff in there. No cinnamon and this other stuff. But uh, lots of other good things. And we thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Kind of give it a thumbs up just for the fact that I survived. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget, we've got our contest going still until, uh, I believe it's the middle of September. We've got another little bit of time here for the giveaway for the Spirit Bear Coffee uh, pod machine, which is kind of like a Keurig made by Hamilton Beach. So get your uh, entries in on that by subscribing. And we will see you next week. And don't forget to hit that reminder bell. See how I almost forgot the reminder bell? To tell you to hit the reminder bell. That would have been a mistake. Anyways, take care. We'll catch you next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao, ciao. <clears throat> oh my God, that was poison.